Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our game. Today we have Madden 25, Mutt Journey, Episode 16, and uh, we made some upgrades to the theme team. Unfortunately, um, the Tony Jefferson, after I ended the last episode, I was like, I'm going to go buy Tony Jefferson at my plan. I'll go over in a sec, guys. But I went to go look for him. There was one on the auction house. So I was like, yes. You know, and I went to go bid on him. Someone bought him, and there hasn't been one on the auction house since. So I'm going to try to keep an eye out for him, but yeah, it I I really hate that I missed out on it. But we did make some upgrades. So first off, I've been upgrading Cooper DeGene. Uh, you know, got him up to an 87. You know, having him, Cromartie, and Terry and Arnold's pretty great. Having it pretty solid. Um, if Duplicate, Cooper DeGene and the Season 2 players end up getting chems, uh, having these guys as my players on the theme team would be great too. But let's actually talk about the theme team because by the overall hasn't gone up, I've made some upgrades. So first off, new tight end. We found a Trey McBride. It popped up and I bought it right off the bat. All right. So he's better than Jason Witten by a, like a decent margin. I mean, better speed, worse strength, but better catcher, better catch traffic, spectacular short, medium. Run blocks off of, you know, Jason Witten. We can always just sub him in on packages or whatever. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, um, we did just straight up get rid of CJ2K. And I actually will say this. I, last night, before I made the decisions, I played a couple games with the CJ2K. Then I moved tokens off of um, Max Crosby onto Christian McCaffrey to see what would happen. Honestly... I don't know what it is. I, I Every time I watch CJ2K, it seemed like he was good. But when I watch recent videos, it seems like he performs worse. McCaffrey feels like a better balanced back, and I enjoy using him more. So I actually like this change, um, and I also sold CJ2K for a decent amount, and his price has tanked today. Um, I sold him last night really quickly. And pretty much made the money back that I bought him for. And today he's gone down like another 25 to 30K, I think. More than that, probably like 50K. So like, I'm kind of glad I sold him when I did, made that money back. Um, yeah, Max Crosby going down to the 83 and getting the JJ Watt 85 is a big upgrade. Um, well, what I kind of like is they're different players in some senses. So... You know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to sub them in. They kind of have their strengths and weaknesses. But having 83 block shed is nice. And, you know, having J.J. Watt here is cool. I love J.J. Watt. I'm a big fan of his. But, okay, let's stick to the team first, right? So Christian McCaffrey's new starting back. We have James Conner, Trey Benson. Okay, that's the best we can do there. Ride right receiver can't get any upgrades. The line really didn't get any upgrades because, you know, the only ones I think are left guard. And I can't find any of the guys up there. Um, cause, okay. So the upgrades we could make, right. Is team builders, Cooper DeGene, and he would replace Zay Jones, but we also need the team builders, Cooper to go at Cooper cup to go into, did I say Cooper DeGene? Anyways, for Cooper cup to go into that miles Garrett set. I mean, we could always buy the miles Garrett outright too, cause it doesn't seem to be that expensive, but you know, we'll go about in a minute, but outside of that, right outside of those upgrades, uh, left tackle, we could get a backup of Paris Johnson Jr. Left guard, Elijah Wilkinson is really the only one. And we can get rid of Matt Feeler. Um, that's pretty much it for the offense. A uh, tackle and guard backup, then the Cooper Cup if we kind of want it. Uh, on defense, right end, Miles Garrett, Justin Jones, there would knock these two off the thing. Big problem is. Don't know if I want to buy Miles Garrett out right yet. His price is going down bit by bit. Um, so I might at some point. Justin Jones, I, I've never seen him on there. Uh, next would be left outside linebacker. Uh, Hassan Reddick would replace Dennis Gardeck. But I haven't seen Hassan Reddick on the auction house either. Uh, we did get Zayvon Collins and Cameron Thomas, who are right outside linebacker upgrades. And Zayvon Collins actually has like 80 speed. So... Um, I'm actually 81 speed, yeah. So I'm actually happy with that pickup. So this is looking a little bit better. Uh, we did get Sean Murphy Bunting, who is just, you know, we were using 
the Troy Vincent, he has 80 speed. That's a straight up upgrade right there. Um, but Cottrell Clark, uh, I think would actually even be better than Troy Vincent, if I remember correctly. And in strong safety, the only other option would be to get Tony Jefferson, uh, the you know team of the week limited, but he hasn't popped up. So, I mean, right now, the one concern I have is D-tackle. Now, I will say this much. I decided something. Roy Lopez is the only Cardinal D-tackle, and having silvers is a liability. So I found out there was a couple of decent free agents. Uh, Henry Anderson, Al Words, Rashard Lawrence, who's a former Cardinal. I put these guys in, so we're no longer have any silvers. We are still only an 81 overall, but you know what? I think the team actually looks pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with it. And I think the upgrades were okay. Now, what other upgrades can we make to the main team, uh, to the theme team? We just went over this. The main team, however, I would love a real tight end. Brock Bowers would be my big one. Um, you know, what, what other changes could we make on here? Uh, you know, I like power backs. There's a beast mode. You know, I'm a Hawks fan. I would love to have him. Uh, obviously, there's, you know, line changes we can make larry little uh larry Adam, you know on defense there's patrick Sertain, there's uh the center fielder paul uh paul kraus there's you know chance campbell you know you know you could always we could always get malik neighbors and fit them in here if we really tried you know there's stuff that is that would help this team and i do need to start thinking about it significantly what are the six overall improvements oh it's wanting me to take out jason Witten for uh yeah no the captains will stay in there for the time being so we do have 12 packs to open um when i was upgrading the uh yeah the the daily uh store pack counted when i was upgrading cooper de Jean to an 87 but um yeah, we still have the daily coin offers, a team of the week, BND player, 79 plus. You know what I would love? How about, I don't know, Chance Campbell. Just give me a Chance Campbell. Justin Stroud. How, how good is he? I don't think he makes a squad. Yeah, no, he'd have to replace Divine Diablo and that ain't happening. So that's 43 trading. That's whatever, that's nothing to shake a stick at. Um, so 70 plus OVR, cool. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, Jordan Riley. Just throw him in 72, 73. Yeah, I also was able getting rid of all the silvers, guys, was massive. I actually have some confidence in the team, gotta be honest. But yeah, guys, we do have some packs. Let's start with the strategy daily coin and the boring stuff. Get that done, get that out of the way. Strategy is in the zone. Plus zone, plus uh, that's ten thousand free coins. I'll take that all day. Um, daily coin pack. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, brother, four thousand. I was hoping for uh, ten thousand, but you know we're always hoping for ten thousand. Let's be honest. Okay, we have the seventy-two, seventy-three on common. This is another boring pack that we can just get out of the way. Um, blood so Okay, that's a seventy-two, so that can go in there. All right, and we did get another one of the 81 uh, season two player fantasy packs. Um, so obviously we've taken Byron Burns, we've taken Cooper DeGene. I really think I just want to take Tyron Smith and, you know, the, and the, the reason I'm gonna explain why I wanted to do this is this Tyrone Smith is an 83 quick sell. Why this other one is worse, we could just quick sell him for coins and already have a Tyrone Smith that we want to upgrade anyways. Because JC Latham will be outdated by the time this one could get up to an 89. And it, with the season, just like the season one tokens, season two tokens, players will get outdated. We'll probably want to shift stuff around, but an 89 over our left tackle will always be useful. And does he get secondary cams? I just got Joe Alt, but if we got right tackle cams or even maybe like left guard cams, we could kick him to the inside. Oh, what the hell? Let 
That was a weird way I had to do it, but okay. Yeah, so Tyron Smith coming in here, uh, I think is a, just a fair trade out. Long snapper. Oh, yeah, yeah. The long snapper was JC Latham. Okay. But yeah, I believe that this one does get secondary camps. I don't think we can find out until... That was just a weird instance there. I don't think we can find out until he... gets an upgrade. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like he does get a secondary slot. So he probably does get right tackle, but if he gets left guard, maybe we just kick him inside. And let's go quick sell the other, uh, Darwin Smith, where are you? Here he is. I mean, this is an 83, so this is gonna be a 77,000 coins. I mean, that's amazing. Now I will say this much, guys. Um, I'm giving myself one exception with the auction house. If Tony Jefferson pops up at any point, I am going to buy him because, you know, it's, it's just going to have to be kind of a grab thing when I see him. But yeah, so we still have eight packs left, three Hail Marys, four standard Twitch and 184 plus. Let's open the standard Twitch packs. But yeah, no, probably nothing in here. Clayton Toon. Okay, 82. Yeah, I, the biggest thing is I definitely want a good tight end. And so building Brock Bowers is definitely at the top of my list of things. Um, but also Chance Campbell's pretty good. We have to complete a Team of the Week legend, like a, a Team of the Week champion anyways. So Chance Campbell would be my pick out of the Team of the Week players to do. Um... I also know that Nurk, Nick Herbig is pretty close to being done. We just need 384-85s. Um, you know, there's also like Larry Little, Tyler, Taylor Morton, um, you know, Larry Allen. Upgrades along the line that if we see fit, depending on how we build, you know. So it's, it's one of those things that as we build it up, we'll just kind of build as we go. And if we need to take pieces out of certain things and slowly upgrade because... This team, I think keeping the offensive line as high as it can would be so necessary. Um, ready, Russell? Long flowing locks. Let's see what we got. I'm just hoping for someone really cool. Like out of one of these packs. Blank Lynch, free agent. There's a 74-75. Yeah, I just, I would really like a surprise, like, oh, that's a cool player to pull out of these packs. You know, just like something, something to surprise me. Something that'd be like, oh, you know, um, I don't know if these standard Trich packs will have anything. Nick Williams, hold on, he's a D-tackle. What are my current D-tackle ratings? Okay, he's not better than Shard Lawrence, so he can just go back in. Okay. Boom. You know, with those free agents, you kind of keep a lookout, especially at D-Tackle, because I want to make sure Cardinal players start over free agents in almost all positions. Uh, but I also know that it's not reasonable for D-Tackle because they have one player in Ultimate Team, which is the dumbest thing ever, because if you play in, you know, you know, franchise, they definitely have more. CJ Uzuma, um, we do need to go, I think, team of the, hold on. Yeah, I think team of the week. Looking at the sets I have to complete, game time sets and team of the week, but game time sets, all of them are like higher end. So I guess we'll throw this in here. Okay. That's two done there and uh, keep opening these Trish packs. I understand that for the Twitch rewards, you don't want to give super busted stuff, but like increase the odds a little bit at this point. It should not be 71, 72s with 174, 75 plus. It really shouldn't be like that. 
you know, you can start giving out some 78s, 79s, 80s. Hey, Keon Coleman. Um, but like, you know, and didn't even get to 75, that's a 73. It's like, I just don't get, like, increase the odds, because if the odds are increased and we can pull cool stuff, more reason we'd want to tune in, you know, the more reason people would want to play this game, it's like, oh, look at the decent rewards you can get. You know, instead it's just like, it's like they don't care. And what's funny is that they really wanted to make, is that our second Blake Lynch? Oh, that's just weird. Um, you know, if they really wanted to try to make more money, they would make stuff be fun to pull. Like, guarantee stuff, um, Lorenzo Carter, boom. Like, you know, if they had good packs, you know, people would spend money. And if they'd spend more money, like, okay, you're making money, and, you know, FOMO isn't, oh, 79. Damn, that's actually pretty good. We need to throw them in the game time. We need complete game time sets. So that's one. Um, but yeah, no, that's... Uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, I just don't get that logic. You know, it's like FOMO, but like, okay, you also have another game that's competing with this one that people would rather go play. Or they just stop playing in general. You know? Like... There's so many games out there that people could just be like, oh, I'm gonna go play this instead. No, Greg. Okay, uh, 78 him in the week. Okay. Okay, I guess the Hail Mary, since the 84 plus BND uh, game time player, I mean, I would love if we pulled the big Brock Bowers, you know, you know, cause I'm trying to think what other game time player I'd want. I don't know. Holy name and a half. Malise Aumabe Lalu. That is a name. That is a name. Damn. Hail Mary Pack, Elisha Campbell. I knew Elijah sounded familiar. It's Elijah Wilkinson. I need left guard. I just, I remember the word Elijah and I was like, wait a minute. Snoop Connor. Nice. 72, 73. Boom. Not much out of there, but that's fine. We did get a 72, 73. Little upgrades along the way. Sydney Brown, strong safety. Wonder if he'll see any play today. Because by the time, I, at the time of recording this, the Eagles and Packers have yet to play. This probably will go live before. No, this will go live the day after. Henry Pearson, fullback. Could possibly see play this we could do. That's the 78 team of the week done. That's cool. That's something we can use. We got Marquise Watts. Oh, 72, 73 set player. And can we see something big out of any of these Hail Mary packs? Lucas, How a 75 free agent kicker. That's actually pretty interesting. We can start the team of the week set again. Because I think for crafting or for the sets, the only team of the week player I really want is Chance Campbell. I mean, there's a lot of decent team of the weeks if we end up you know, building them down the road. Let's take him on Hall. Um, throw him into the 80 team that we got elite. That's one of three. There we go. All right. Uh, one last Hail Mary pack. This hasn't been the best. Um, Jonathan Bullard. That's a 74. Can we get an elite? No, probably not. Jacob Harris. And... No. Varane McKinley the third. Free safety. Who's our current free safeties for the theme team? Honey Badger and Jalen Thompson. Okay. All right, well, cool pickup. He goes in 74, 75. 
Now, here's the big thing. This can either be really big or can be a massive difference. 84 plus. Please let the plus be big. Please just Brock Bowers. Just please Brock Bowers. That would just be, I uh, give me a tight end. I'd be happy, make it worth it. AJ Espinenza. I mean, right end, how does he stack up? We have Jeffrey Simmons who would definitely start. He has more speed, but he's worse than everything on the play rec. And worse speed even than, but he's a power rusher, okay. Less two plus two less cell, one less speed, six more strength, worse tackle by four. He's taller, he has more weight on him, better play rec, better block shedding, better power, less finesse, but he is a power rusher. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess we just switch him out. Ah, uh, the plus is being silent, man. That stings. Okay, I guess let's go switch him out. Again, there's no game time player that helps the theme team. So it's like, I really wish there was. If there was an 82 or an 84, you know. So I guess we swap these guys out. And I think that 82 is straight up. Um, like, he's actually worse on the rush, but whatever. I actually think he's only a B. I think he's a B and D. So I think we're just going to get training from him. Yep, he is. How much? 68 training. So we go to 299. Of course we do. So guys, this obviously will be the last episode with the solo seasons rookie. I'm debating if I want to change the reel. Now remember each of the... Uh, Rookie championships instead of actually using the championship reel we use the uh, Playoff reel if we do succeed So we will find out here What happens to us, okay? So we're, re we're really not we don't really have any objectives um, To complete, you know, we have no dailies. We, I completed all of the challenges so for the game time stuff that is uh, currently available. Um, so there's pretty much nothing else we can do other than just go and win this game. You know, so for the most part, it is just burning through the game um, and spinning that reel. There we go. Yeah, I do. If I get more auction house time, I will definitely keep an eye out for Paris Johnson Jr., Elijah Wilkinson, Justin Jones, Hassan Reddick, and Cottrell Clark. And of course, that Tony Jefferson. And if I see a good deal on, like, Miles Garrett, I'll probably grab him too. But uh, yeah. Let's see. What do we got? From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. Because, like, I don't know. I've, it just, the one thing that sucks is, like, it feels like every time we get head to head or anytime we spun anything related to that, it's always the theme team. And the theme team is so underpowered at this point. You know, especially with so many cards not on the market, it's tough. Good spin by McCaffrey. We're still up. Well, we were still up. See, now we're not. I mean, now we are technically still up because we're standing up. But, up. Uh, got the touchdown. We're good here. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number. And, you know, we're going to burn through this quick. The nice thing about this one is we can keep the episode somewhat short. Um, the head-to-head -head ones, I just need to edit better, I think. I need to cut around some stuff some more. But also, every one, every episode, we're not going to have, like, 20 packs or 10 packs or something like that. Uh, recently, we will because there's so many Twitch stuff going on, which I love. I think the com they need to give more packs out to the community. So to not only get people to watch the game, but like to build the community because that's one thing about Madden is 
I literally could not get up. He just kept falling down. <laughs> uh, I got the bumble recovery. That's cool. But no, like the big thing is like interacting with people, man. You know, I know that as a fan, as a sport and fan bases, obviously we root for certain teams and not every team get along. And some people absolutely hate, which I get it. There are teams I hate, but for reasons like cheating, you know, like it's going to be a long time before I think positively of like the Patriots. And it's not because Tom Brady when he's it's because of how many times they cheated, skirted around the rules and you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that crap. Like, there's difference in creative play calling that eventually gets banned. Like, the Patriots and Seattle both had the jumping over to block kicks or punts. I like that. I actually did. I like that ability to just jump over the center or jump, you know. I like that. I thought both of that was creative as hell. But I didn't realize it was worth down. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not, I'm just talking. But like, yeah, there's certain teams that cheated and there's certain teams that I just can't respect. I can respect the defense. I just don't root for them. Um, like the Browns are one because of who their quarterback is and what he's done. The Steelers for who their quarterback was and what he did. You know, it's there's stuff like that. First and goal into the third. So, yeah, but I still like players from those teams. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of players I love from those teams that, you know, and we got to touch on, you know, that, you know, I can look past, you know, teams I can hate for their actions. But unless the players do something, I will still respect or root for those players, whether they're on a rival team or not. And, uh, you know, well, during game time, like, for instance, the 49ers, there's so many Fred Warner, old pro Fred, um, you know, uh, Christian McCaffrey, you know, there's just so many players on the 49ers you can't hate. But on game day, of course, if they're playing against my Seahawks, I root against them. Um, but the 49ers have such fun defenses. Oh, I miss that. We'll just knock him down. I thought I had that covered and I was slightly off. That's one thing I do. I like, I'm so used to. Good breakup. I'm so like, this is like cap. Like this is like me. Like it's not, a, it's an excuse. It is an excuse. I shouldn't say it is an excuse. It is. I, I play usually at the end of the year. And so I'm used to all these stacked abilities and speeds. And I just completely drift on that. Oh, still got it. Okay, but yeah, like I just I need to get better. I need to. I need to make decisions a little bit cleaner, a little bit quicker. I need to be able to change play calls a little bit. Like it's so different with like Hot Route Master and all that stuff. Uh, oh, I thought I could just keep him an inch away. I didn't realize he was close enough to tackle me. Actually, we'll let this go to the two-minute warning. We'll just chew out clock and we'll end this game and wrap up this episode. In the next episode, we will have the uh, schedule wheel again to decide what we do. I might make changes. I'm thinking about including challenges for bonuses and, you know, really mixing it up. Oh, we don't have... Oh, shoot. I forgot. We don't have 21 points. So they're they're gonna call their timeouts. I might as well still set it to two clock because as long as I can make this like third and one or third third and two, we can continue to burn a clock even after we get that first down. Third and two, okay. All right, so if we can get even fourth and one, or even if we pick up the first here, we are burning some clock. Nope. Okay, and we can just QB kneel this and wrap this up. So, the tough part about this is like, whatever we land on the wheel can be good, it can be bad depending on. 
And I may make exceptions depending on what it is because I need the money I currently have to uh, to buy Tony if he does appear on the, uh, you know, because if, you know, if Tony Jefferson shows up, I have to buy him. So I may make exceptions to whatever we get. We can just let this tick out, guys. Um, let me make sure the playoff wheel's up, and let's secure this, and boom. Okay, I think we also get... Do we just get coin, or do we get a pack? I don't know for this one. A 70-plus OVR, okay. Uh, two 70 plus overall player packs. Okay, and 800 coins. That's cool. Okay, so we're now up to ventured in that. That's fine. I still hate that loss, man. Those drops. That Donald Parham Jr., anytime I see him on the field, I just have fear that he will drop because of the that game. That literally lives rent free in my head. Uh, Josiah Scott, 73. That's. That's a plus. I mean, it's 70 plus. We got a small plus. And then let's go higher than a 73. It's a 72. Now we went, we went down one. That's fine. That goes 74, 75. I think we did get a 74, 75 pack. Yeah. So let's open this and then we'll spin the wheel and see what we get. Tyler Shetley. Uh, those 76 77 that's three fourths done okay guys so really wheel man just work with me once there we go all right so we're gonna give this a spin see what we get on the playoff wheel i may change things up here do one set that's not that useful for us like see we're able to buy the players for the auction house i want to save my money like, that's just it. Okay, let's go back. I, I need to think about this. I know we landed on something like that, and the wheel's a part of it. But the 1.2 mil, we need for Tony. Like, literally, because I saw him up at a mil, and I saw him up at 1.1. One didn't have a buy it now price. I saw him up for a mil auction, and that was when he first launched. Then yesterday, I saw him for 1.1 again, and he had like a 1.4 or 1.3 quick, quick sell. And by the time I came back to look, it was gone. I didn't have the coin then for that. So I I actually am going to make a decision. And I, I, I mean, obviously, you can disagree with this. Because we are saving coin and the coin's locked up, I'm going to veto the playoff wheel, and I'm going to allow us to buy one point pack. And... Um, Let's do four eighty plus one eighty plus or eighty seven. Let's do the game time opportunity pack. I am gonna just count this as our prize for this um, because of that how the real spin is, and that's pretty much what it is. So we have the eighty pluses. Also, we're trying to complete game time sets. This just goes hand in hand, and it says complete any set. Uh, this I can I can work this round in my head saying hey you can buy any okay yeah we just technically bought these no so we'll throw this in the game time and uh, you know hopefully some of these pluses aren't silent or we get a uh, uh, BND or BND oh my god uh, unlimited Michael Carter the second just throw him in the game time there we go. And at least we'll get another game time set done. We need three total, but we'll be able to complete at least one more here. Um, Mike Dana, okay. And that should be a game time elite fantasy pack. So that's an 82 there. That's cool. I would love if this 80 plus was an 82 at least. And then that 87, you know, GT champ. We'd love it if it's Brock Bowers. 88 would love it if it's one of the limits. Michael Carter. Okay, it's just an 80. That's fine. We throw him into the 82. Boom. Lock that up. Okay. Big moment. 
I don't know the different animation for the champ or the limited. No, it's an 84. Deontay Johnson. That's so disappointing. I mean, he can go into the Brock Bowers set, which, oh wait, hold on. I hate that we have to click it like this. So that Deontay Johnson at least takes up one of the 284 game time players. Um, that's unfortunate. Thankfully we did complete another game time set, so that's two out of the three. Um, and then we have this pack to open, guys. I think I just made that decision because it felt like it was the best one to save coin. So we get any 82. Um, funny enough, there is a tight end here. How does he compare? Oh, horrible speed. Yeah, he is just a straight up blocker. We'll take him. We'll take We'll take him. I'm just going to turn around and throw him in the set. I don't know how close we are to the set, actually. But, um, 84 game time. Oh, yeah, 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 because we threw the AJ Dillon in there for the previous one, and then we just threw the own card. So we only need an 82. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad, guys. But, yeah, I am going to keep an eye on the auction house because I told myself the one exception I'm going to make is for this Tony because, like, 30 minutes isn't enough time for him. So if I ever see that Tony Jefferson, I'm going to buy him, guys. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think to improve the series. Until next time. Tag out. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members, Urza and Scott. You're amazing. If you guys want to check out Patreon and join it to get a shout out at the end, check Patreon down in the link in the description below. And you can also, like Scott did, make me re record this. Don't